Steam Next Fest has been amazing so far and in this video I want to showcase 3 indie games which were amazing and I think everybody should check out eventually wishlist if you like them and just learn more about them. The first game I want to talk about is Necrosmith 2 which is a tower defense game but not like your usual tower defense games. Here you make an army of zombies which you build from different body parts and they protect your tower. But it's not just that, every single body part that you have including the arms, the legs, the body, the head are different and give you different stats. You can combine them differently and, and make unique zombies. You can choose to have a mage zombie but that zombie also has a shield. You can have different legs, different head and all of those things mixed up give you different stats that make your zombie special. After you build your zombie, you have the option to give it 5 commands which is attack enemy layer, combat enemies, protect, protect the tower and go roaming. You want to mix those things up like send several zombies to attack, send several zombies to wood constantly for you roaming the map so you can collect materials, you choose how you do it. While the zombies are roaming around, they find different objectives and those objectives give different bonuses. You can find an altar which gives you extra mana every evening, you can find an altar which gives you iron every evening, you can find a graveyard which gives you body parts and also you have those different buildings that you can destroy and after destroyed they give you blueprints which you can use materials to boost your tower. It's important to know that the game is designed for you to die several times so you can go back to your base and you can buy more upgrades. In the demo we had three of those upgrades or you can call them spells and here are many more to come which were worked. I'm excited to see what exactly the game is gonna introduce and I assume maybe you will be able to choose only a certain amount for a run. We'll see. You also have artifacts. I counted around 70 artifacts and from what I see you can have up to 5 maybe 6 artifacts active at the same time and those artifacts can be found while you play. Those artifacts give you specific boosts which are different and you can choose how you want to make your build. What I unlocked is one artifact which makes it so enemies explode which was very cool and I am excited to see what the other artifacts are like. A couple of other features that the game has is portals which you can make it so you summon the zombies on those portals instead of the tower. You can make titans which fight for you and they're like very very strong zombies but obviously they require more materials. You have to sacrifice body parts and then you need a lot of mana and you're also able to move zombies that you click on. I didn't find that feature very useful but it's cool that you have the option to if you want to. The game also has different maps. In the demo we were able to see the first map and you unlock many more. I didn't count how many there are but it's cool to know that you have different options. Maybe eventually maps will have different difficulties that you have to beat or just the maps will progressively get harder and harder. We'll see how it's gonna be. The next game I want to talk about is called Kingsgrave and this one is an action adventure puzzle game which was so fun to play by the way. Kingsgrave starts off with you waking up after 50 years and finding everything around you in ruins and then you start exploring and by exploring you find new things to unlock. You have enemies that you have to kill, by killing those enemies you free a zone and that zone becomes enemy free, you can teleport there later on, but this is not everything you have to do. While you're exploring you find different buildings that you need a certain amount of specific materials to restore those buildings, sometimes you need a specific amount of villagers as well. You find villagers while exploring as well, you can find one, you can find three, it's different every time. When you have the, the needed amount of materials, you go to the buildings and you restore it. Each one of those buildings has a specific buff that you get permanently. You have one building that gives you a dash, you have one building that gives you extra health, one building which gave me a crossbow and you need all of those in order to complete puzzles, which is the second part of the game. The game is full of random puzzles that you have to do in order to unlock new zones. Sometimes you just have to step on a plate, sometimes you have to move a very heavy object on top of another object, you have to shoot a target, it's different every time and I'm sure later on you find different new puzzles to do. The enemies that were introduced in the demo were quite simple and easy to kill but it was not boring to do so. And I found out that you can actually farm those enemies because every time you sleep the enemies in a zone which is not freed reset. And if you leave just one enemy you go to sleep and you go you can kill them again. Those enemies drop a specific item that you actually need for some buildings and this is an easy and good way to do the farming. 
The demo ended with a little of a boss fight which introduced a new zone which was a fire zone and I'm really excited to see what other zones there would be and what puzzles they will have. And the last game I want to talk about is such a comfy cozy game which I very randomly found actually through another streamer. It is Lightyear Frontier. I want to start out by saying that this game is so amazingly beautiful. When I first launched the game and the first scenes I saw, I, I was literally speechless for a bit. It is a very very beautiful game with unique art style and I think a lot of people will really like it. But what exactly is the game about? It's basically a very very comfy game focused on exploration, crafting and discovery. There is no combat in the game. There is no thirst, there is no hunger, you don't have to worry about things. It's just you exploring, crafting and discovering new things. Obviously the game is not just about that. You have your mech, which is your biggest helper, you do all the material gathering with it. You can also upgrade the mech, you have something like a skill tree. So basically you get better chainsaw, you get better water pump and all of those typical upgrades with a skill tree. And one of the mechanics of the game is actually taking care of the environment. You have to free the zones from, let's say, sickness. And by doing those in different zones, you unlock one door zone by zone. The crafting was very unique and you were given quite a lot of materials to build a house or a farm, whatever you want to do. And I found that very cute. It's definitely a very relaxing game which you can play after a long day of work or after you maybe lose 10 ranked games. I'm sure the demo didn't really scratch the surface of that planet or what the game is really about. I'm sure there is something like a story you will uncover what that planet has to offer and I'm really excited to see what the game will be like on the full release. And those were the three indie games which I wanted to talk about. As always those were the demos of the game so the full release might be different, there might be changes, this is not finalized but I'm really excited for all those three games to see what they're gonna be like and if you like any of them make sure to wishlist them because that also helps the developers out thank you so much for watching and have a good one